And we're joined now by the Liberal Democrats, Julian Huppert, to talk a bit more about this. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. What's the logic behind this? Well, for about 50 years, we've had an approach to cannabis, which has been to make it illegal, to threaten jail sentences, and to have it entirely run by criminal gangs. It hasn't worked to reduce usage. Millions of people use cannabis and and continue to do so. But what it has done, as we've heard so clearly from Val and Robin, is to drive more and more harmful strains of cannabis. The skunks are now spice. And so actually we've managed to make the situation much, much worse. We've let criminals regulate it. They have no interest in protecting people. They simply have interest in getting as much money as possible. And so we're causing much, much more harm than we would do otherwise. Well, if we regulate it, we can get rid of the nasty strains and make sure that it is looked after properly. We've heard from those two experts, and they do indeed say what you said they said, but they also made the point that the evidence suggests that if you go down this road, you do by and large, encourage more people to take the drug, which cannot surely be a good thing. Well, first, actually, I mean, Val pointed out there's not much evidence there. Different patches in different places. In a lot of areas, we're not seeing more people uh, try marijuana because, frankly, most people who want to try it now can get hold of it pretty easily. But current... but. The key thing is we would get rid of those nasty, more harmful ones. There's two compounds well, would as well. We, as... Would we, actually? I mean, surely that people, people would still be able to get that illegally and, and, and would go on doing so. Well, but in the same way that if you look at the alcohol market, there are people who get some very nasty, methanol-rich bootleg products. But the vast majority of people buy it safely, buy it legally. It is much more controlled. And alcohol is a far more dangerous drug. But I think the other thing is what we're doing now is we're giving all of the money, all of the control to criminal gangs. And if you care about health, if you care about society, surely taking the power and the money away from the criminals means we can provide a much better service. What about the point that Sir Robin Murray makes, which is that there is a tendency for some people, not all by any means, but for some people, to start taking this in a controlled and measured way and then to move on to harder versions of the drug taken in greater quantities but i mean i just think that that's unlikely if you separate out the far less harmful versions from the extremely harmful versions currently if you go to a dealer you have i understand very little say over what you're actually getting you'll get something that they happen to want to give you you can't check whether it's pure you cause many many more harms if there is a place which you can go to to buy the less harmful things even if you wanted to try something harder you wouldn't know how to get it you cut out so many of the dealers you remove that connection from entry level, if you like, lower um, harm marijuana to the nastier form. So this is about reducing skunk, reducing spice. There's an editorial in the Evening Standard um, this afternoon which gives some welcome to your policy, um, but says it isn't convinced yet about the evidence. Is it a bit well frivolous to introduce this at this stage? It's not going to happen. Uh, not as slightest. I, th- I think it should happen. It's happening around the world. If you look in the US, for example, um, as I think Val and Robin uh, were saying earlier, um, more and more states are going this way. So they're doing medical marijuana, which we absolutely agree with. It seems perverse to say to doctors that they cannot prescribe uh, marijuana where it is helpful uh, for somebody's uh, conditions. And more and more places in the US, California, uh, many states, are now making it legal. This, more and more countries are doing this, and they're seeing very good results. It reduces crime reduces mental health harm and there's tax revenue for the state which you can spend on education and treatment. Julian Harper, thank you very much indeed for talking to us.